Let's let this pop up. There we go. We're begging with Fox. A tip to repair it. Begging with Fox. Pops the hood of the car. She wastes a day trying to repair the car, but refuses. To... That is the second time she has failed. Grimoth, how dare you let them be rude? I had to go get a beer now because of this. Tonight I am brink I am brinking. Oh my god. I'm just opening the beer and I already sound drunk. I am drinking Newcastle Brown Ale. If Newcastle would like to send me a par 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 partnership, I would be most appreciative. While trekking through the woods, the group gets pretty lost. If they keep going like this, they'll waste a lot of time. Grimoth climbs a tree to look around. Keep wandering blindly. Well, I guess we'll just let uh, Grimoth punch the tree. Grimoth decides to climb the tree and get a better vantage point of the surrounding areas. His plan works out fine. He spots something in the distance and gets to see a majestic view. He sees the mountains of South Carolina. His fitness is revealed, and his morale increases. Yay, Grimoth. But we're also walking. Without a car, the group is a sitting duck for bandits. The group is ambushed by awkward bandits that apologize for the robbery. They are likely new at this. They demand the remainder of your food and a quarter of your ammo and medical supplies. Grimoth expected this. Let's see if Grimoth can get us out of this. Grimoth foresaw the ambush, so he set his plans up shortly before the bandits appeared. When the bandits make their demands of Grimoth, the other members sneak behind them in a counter ambush. They're surprised by this and surrender. Wow. Good job, Grimoth. Grimoth is the master of telling bandits to get fucked. Uh-oh. The group sees the dirt road stretch out into the distance. There are a lot of wrecked cars and a lot of zombies. At the end, oh my god, they're hunting, it's nightfall, and it's very... Yeah, oh, this is bad. We're probably going to lose somebody here. I'm going to give Grimoth a chainsaw. Joe has his gun. Begging with Fox. Get begging with Fox some grenades. Oh, we'll see. This is bad, though. Oh my god, look at this car. It's like a 65 Mustang. Oh, 44 to zombie destroyed. The group finds a large campsite that is occupied by a few carloads of other survivors. Camping with strangers is risky, but there's nowhere else to go. None are heading to Canada. Grimoth robs them and runs. Grimoth doesn't trust them. Drive off with no sleep. Let's see. Maybe let Grimoth not trust them. He's probably got a plan for this. Grimoth does not trust anyone in the camp. He stays up all night watching for any signs of trouble. Nothing happens and he is exhausted in the morning. The group is low in food and eats half as much. Begging with Fox's morale decreases. We have one food left. We definitely need to find food. Grimoth is tired and cranky. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. A gas station siege or a packed grocery store.
I feel like the grocery store would be best, but... Or we could drive around for 30 more gas. How much gas do I have? We have 200 gas. Yeah, let's see if there's anything else. The group decides to burn some gas in hopes of finding a more interesting... A crowded yall mart or sewer rescue. Let's do the crowded yall mart. Thick, irritated, near... Oh, man. Alright, we're out of ammo, so... Well, for the shotgun. We're going to take Grimace Chainsaw away. Actually, I'll take Joe's gun. Let's put this up. Uh, I think we'll be okay. Oh god, taking the fox went the wrong way. Okay, we really need to find a lot of food in here. Grimoth just got sad. Why am I not able to walk this way? Grimoth, calm down! Grimoth is like panicking and running toward the enemies. Oh, it's because he's tired. That's what it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please. No. Stop it. Oh my god. We somehow just got out of that. We could run through and grab all this food now. Yeah, I forgot I could have you rest. That's okay, we made it. <laughs> I don't think we would have made it without you, though. I'll be honest. We should try to find efficient cars to conserve our gas. No, we don't want to trade. We need to keep... We should... Okay, we already said... Couldn't we all just get along? I've said that before many times in my life. There's a Twinkie truck on the road. It's upside down. And the door to the back is locked tight. The group salivates about the bounty of processed corn syrup that must be inside. Ignore it for health reasons. SKS smashes it with something heavy. SKS shoots the lock. Faking with Fox tries to jimmy it open. Well, let's see. What is my shooting? My shooting is great. Baking with Fox's mechanical is happy, so either one of these. But actually, I think my shooting is better, so I think I should shoot the lock off. No, it's smashing it. Oh, no. 
SKS takes aim at the lock at the back. Perfect shot. The latch pops open. The group collects the Twinkies that weren't all smashed up and raided by ants after the truck flip. Get food eight. So that worked out really well. I mean, we were... We were desperate, so... That was a good decision. We got 15 food, so that's nice. The group camps in a sturdy building. It seems to be an old repair shop with busted of machinery laying around. That would be a great time to train with repairing things. Uh, let's just go to sleep. We need the rest. We need the heal. Things are going good now, but we got to be prepared for anything. Grimoth is totally a prepper in this game. The group is delighted to have found an overturned Caldwell's Cot Cod Contractor's truck with its hot and ready system still functioning. Inside is a single 212 pound cod, fresh, baked, ready to stink up the joint. The group takes what they figured they can eat before they fish meat spoils on the road. 32 food. Holy crap. My morale went up, Grimace morale went up, Joe's morale went up, and Begging with Fox. Wow, that was a big jump on morale. Grimoth is the happiest son of a bitch ever. We're never going to make it all the way to Canada. Thanks, Grimoth. He's so happy, but he says that. <laughs> the group continues making progress along the death road. As long as one person remains alive to dream. Let's just keep going. Grimoth, really need to be careful with our supply of gas. I would like to know where we're at. Is there a way to look at a map? The group runs into a horde too thick to drive past and gets cornered. Oh my god. They run for a good place to fight a siege, but nearby buildings all look ruined. They are in a bad spot to fight. Okay, I'll use the rifle. I'll also take the grenades. What is Grimace shooting? We don't know. Um, Grimace is weak, so we're going to give him the shotgun. It only has seven shots, but it's something. Joe will give the revolver. And begging with Fox, we'll just do what we can. I don't think I can leave, let Grimoth rest on this. No, it won't let me. I'm trying to maximize my shots. Okay, right now. Oh, this is bad. Gotta keep moving. Oh, please. Oh my god, I threw a grenade and we're running. Yes! Oh my god. Oh, we made it. Oh, we made it. <laughs> oh, and the car is starting to catch on fire. The group feels inspired after managing to survive. Um, morale and random skill gain, strength, medical. I think we need medical to heal Grimoth, but he's just one person. 
Uh, let's do morale and random skill gain. Every day is a great teacher, so as long as you don't get eaten. SKS is morale increased. Oh, our morale is really high. Grimace fitness increased. That's good. Joe's mechanical increased. Basing of Fox's medical increased. This car is a ticking time bomb. Oh my god. The car is broken down from use and abuse. Alright, let's let Baking with Fox fix it. Easily repairs the car in no time. Awesome. The group finds a cabin in the woods with no zombies in sight. It has a wood stove in it, but no wood. The group eats a decent meal. Um, let's go to sleep. We should bring as little attention to ourselves as possible. Five bandits ambush the group while they are about to sneak into a zombie infested house. The bandits speak in a half whisper, afraid to attract undead. They say to hand over some supplies and they'll, or, or they'll yell. Grimoth has a plan already. Grimoth calls the bandits on the bluff immediately. Before the bandits can yell, Grimoth is already making tons of noise. As the bandits panic and the zombies rush in, the group saunters away by a side route. It pays to cons constantly plan for the worst. Eskias' morale increases, Joe's morale increases, begging of a fox morale increases. Damn, Grimoth, you the man. The group drives into the outskirts of the city. Zombies mill around, but they haven't seemed to notice the car yet. A strength and fitness gym or a lost safe house? Let's go to lost safe house. I'll keep my grenade just in case. Uh, we don't need any of these weapons because we don't have ammo for them. I would really like to find some ammo in here. Hey, Dark Wolf! We've made it really far. I'm, I'm impressed. safe house. Oh no! Oh, I oh, got a grenade. This is bad. I have the power of human body! Well, actually, oh! Get wrecked! Closet full of, am of ammo. Nothing in here. Nothing to see here. Move along, move along. Oh, there's so many coming from outside. Somebody's gonna pick that gun up. I think. Surprised. None of you all picked that gun up. Um, oh shit. Where you guys at? Oh, y'all can't get past the box. It's like, why did your people die? Um, well. Alright, 
let's go. Let me move all the shit out of the way since they... Oh god, they're not gonna be able to get past that, are they? Grimmith is a madman. He just goes after everything. Like, the game says it's zombies. Weakness is furniture and shit. Evidently. Uh, ooh. Oh, we got some more medical supplies. That's nice. I think we'll get out of here. Well, it's 240. Let's check out this other place. I mean, it's right next to the car. Oh, that was a good place. Way to check it out. Oh, another great place. I just hit that car. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. <laughs> Eight food, one gas, some medicine. We can heal two things now. We got some ammo. Not a lot, though. We're really close to Canada. Conserve your water. We don't want to waste any. Okay, Grimoth. That should be Joe saying that. The group goes against their judgment and camps in a city apartment because there's no zombies around. When they wake up, the building is on fire. Grimoth is cool about fire safety. Grimoth always has a fire safety plan prepared. It doesn't matter where he is, Grimoth constantly thinks up a new fire safety plan. All supplies were saved, no one was injured, the group eats a decent meal. <laughs> oh my god! Grimoth is like the perfect person for like fire safety. Which is amazing, because if you all looked on Twitter the other night, when I started with Grimoth, he fucking killed me the first night. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Let's go to the rest stop then. The group finds a rest stop along the road. Some zombies mill around. Thick, irritated near noon. I'm still going to keep that umbrella. this way and we'll deal with this Grimoth conserve yourself like Grimoth doesn't know when to rest like he just goes at him see there he goes again around the whole fucking building. Alright, maybe we go in here and find some stuff now. Shit, run away! You know, I bet I could have just pushed one of those things in front of that door and blocked them from coming through. Let's get out of here. We don't really need anything right now. We still got two food somehow. Grimoth got damaged again. Can any human truly be too swole? <laughs> too swole to control, baby. Woo! 
<laughs> this dialogue. The group finds a used car lot that seems untouched by time or at least not touched by looters. They find a supply of gasoline and a few working cars. Swap to a big van, swap to a tiny car, swap to an SUV, swap... Hmm. This is a big decision. What do y'all think we should go to? Get the van, arrive in style. We got tons of gas, we can afford to be less efficient. Alright, we'll get the. Well, do we want the SUV? Or the van? The SUV seems like it would be more durable. The group gets a new used car. The SUVs have crappy gas mileage and are slow. They're also very durable and they, don't, they break down slowly. The group camps for the night, off a quiet stretch of the road. The group eats a decent meal. The morning moose. <laughs> In the morning, there's a moose outside the camp. It looks injured and just glaring at the group. Even injured, a moose is a really powerful creature. Probably best not to mess with it. Do we leave it alone? Do I shoot the moose? Grimoth wants to wrestle the moose, or do we treat the moose's injury? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, letting Grimoth wrestle it would be the greatest thing ever. <laughs> uh, I'm going to shoot it. SKS tries to shoot the moose. This isn't very sportsmanlike. He blasts the moose. The group gets what stringy meat they can from it before having to leave. Zombies are not our only problem out here. <laughs> Joe, he's having flashbacks of Nom. While driving the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Uh, let's do the small suburb. The group drives through a ruined suburb. There are a few buildings that look like they haven't been completely trashed. Moderate, sluggish, oh my god, nightfall? Why the hell would we go here at night? Joe needs a quicker weapon, I believe. We'll leave him that back up. Let's let, uh, Grimmeth rest. I honestly don't even know if I want to do this. Freaking nighttime. Yeah, this is this is a bad idea. Let's just get out of here. Why does it? Why does it not give you a situation like a, a? Why would you go out at night? If you tie a string around your finger real tight, your finger will turn purple. Good to know. Thanks. Well, at least they're talking with each other now. Rain starts pouring down. It's hard to see, and shapes of zombies lurk right on the edge of the darkness. The group isn't sure what would be worse: continuing or stopping here. Go down the side road and camp. That sounds bad. Seek shelter in a house or keep driving. Hmm.
think seeking shelter. The group doesn't even get settled in the house before they realize a large horde is. Of course. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, we don't have any ammo. I will take the rifle. I will also switch over to this. I'm going to give Grimmett the grenade. You know, I feel like I need that grenade too. I know this is me being greedy, but I feel like this is the only way we're going to survive. I love the fact that we're stuck in the house. Oh, sweet heavens to Betsy. Come on, come on, come on. I dropped my gun though. Oh, 99, 98, almost 100 zombies. Good lord. Who cares if you're tired? Just keep swinging your weapon at all times. Good job, Grimmins. The group can't find the car keys. After a while, they spot the keys laying inside a gator's open mouth. Grimmins wrestles the gator. Grimmins tires out the gator. What? <laughs> what are you going to do? Run it around in a circle? I think I'll just shoot it. The gator is blasted by SAS is good aiming. It drops the car keys. Hey, my shooting is the best it can be. We need to inventory all of our supplies. Sure, maybe we get some extra time, Joe. I love that my group is getting along now. It gets late, but there are no great places to camp. Solo zombies hobble around the far distance, and one might sneak up on the group while they sleep. Who should stay up and watch? Nobody has really good... You know what? I'm going to have to stay up. Because I don't think anybody else has good... Uh, I don't know. Shit. Yeah, I'll volunteer as tribute. SKS stands watch for him. He manages to stay awake but feels groggy in the morning. Ah, uh, see, my loyalty was really high, so... One day till Canada... Wouldn't be a bad idea to try to hunt for food when possible. While scavenging, the group runs into a man covered in cardboard boxes. He says he's been stuck there for days. He has a nightstick laying on the ground outside of his reach. Should someone steal his weapon? What is an... Um. 
I don't know. I feel like begging with Fox should help him up, but then Grimmith's the fighter. Grimmith would be able to handle it. Yeah, but Grimmins, you can't do that. You have to... The group saves the man from all the cardboard boxes pinning him down. He can't spare a reward, but is really grateful. Grimace morale decreases, and baking with Fox's morale decreases. Y'all got mad because I saved him. An enormous army of undead shambles abound the carnage that surrounds the border to Canada. Many have tried to get through. Most only succeed in having their bodies added to the horde. Maybe your team will be different. This is the last chance to trade. Good luck. Group finds a woman surrounded by medical equipment. She claims to be a skilled doctor. She offers to provide health care in exchange for food. Uh, Grimace should get the treatment, because he's here. Grimace gets treatment from his wounds. Alright. Great. I smell axes, just axes. I would really like some ammunition. aren't we? Giant armies of undead perpetually lurch around the Canadian border, unable to cross. The group gets caught up in a lesser swarm before they can find a safe camp. We don't have enough gas for them. No, no ammo for that. We're in trouble. We may not make it through this. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Guys, let's get up here. Oh shit. I don't even Kung Fu. Oh, I didn't want to switch to Joe. We're dead. There's no way we're getting out of this. The 
the siege is over. Oh my god. And there's no way there's no way I can get him around. Oh my god. No. <laughs> oh, we were so close. We're on the last day. The last day. Wow. <sighs> no ammo, no- I don't even know if grenades would have helped. Oh well. We did a good job. Everybody made it really close. I blame Joe for this. I feel like Joe let us down because he just didn't hold his end of it up. <laughs> 